All right, I'm going to go over how to draw in Google SketchUp for schools. This is assignment number two, the pipes. And you go up here to the, some people call it the waffle, but it brings you to all the Google apps. In the bottom right-hand corner is SketchUp for schools. Um, you want to sign in with your Google account. This is a free product if your school has a Google suite. And then the way you start any project is you want to create new. And because we're in the US, we're going to use feet and inches. And then I also title it at the same time. So I title it with your name and assignment number two. And then you want to save it in your drive and then you could upload it. Um, OK, so that's the first step. And then now what we're going to do Oh, and then save it in whatever folder you want. And then what you're going to do here is this is your Y axis, your X axis in red, and your Z axis in blue. You always want to kind of hold down the roller mouse and move around and make sure you're drawing in the right plane. So sometimes I like to look a little more forward on if I want to draw flat this way and extrude backwards into green. So the first thing I'm going to do is over here, my create geometry tools. I want to create a circle. I am actually just going to click one time right there and pull the mouse out. And I'm not holding down the click button. I'm going to draw a two foot circle, two foot radius. And you can see it in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to hit enter and there's my circle. And I can see I drew it on that front red plane also because, um, the circle around my pencil had been green to extrude it back out. So with the roller mouse down, I could change my orientations and see where it is. Okay, I've created that 2D object. I want to manipulate that object. So I come over here to push pull. This is an extrusion button. I click on the surface I want to extrude. I want to push it back. And then I'm going to type in 20 feet. Enter, and then there's my pipe. Escape is a really good key to take you out of that operation, and Control Z brings you um, back in operation. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate existing geometry, so that's going to be under this button here. And what I want to do is create an offset, and I want to offset that circle and pull it in three inches. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner and hit enter. Then with that operation, I hit escape. I'm going to go back to that manipulate geometry, hit the extrude button, click on this face, draw it back, and go back 20 feet. So there's my pipe to my selection tool. I'm going to move it around a little bit. So that all looks good. It's kind of hanging out in midair, so I don't want that. So I'm going to, with my selection tool, I'm going to select the whole pipe. Once all of it selected, the internal cylinder, the faces, then I could kind of click on it and drag it. Whoops. Click on it and drag it around. Why is it not dragging around? So with my selection tool, I know what I did wrong. With my selection tool, I select the whole thing. It's all selected. Then I have to go down to the move button here. So I click on move. So I want to move that object. And I'm going to drag it. I don't want to drag it forward. I don't want to drag it down. And as I'm dragging it, I can put it down and change my orientation and get it quite right. So I can see it is on the edge right there. Um, so now it's on the blue axis. And then now that I have it in the place I want, I hit escape. Back to my selection tool, hold down my roller mouse, and I could look at my pipe. So that all looks pretty good. Um, next thing I'm going to do is create some more geometry. This is number four. Create your name on the side of the pipe. Creating geometry. So it's going to be under this pull down menu. Here's 3D text. I'm going to type in there Colfax Math, but you're going to type in your own name. The height of those letters are three inches. And we're not going to extrude it at all. We're just going to write it on the surface. So zero, OK. And that on the side of the pipe right there. See the box around it? 
when I hit escape, it'll take me out of that operation. So there's my pipe. After I've done that, I want to make a copy of that pipe and put it to the side. It's going to be the exact same way as I moved it around. The only difference is I'm going to hold down the control button. So if you can't select it, you know, change your orientation a little bit. I'm going to hit my selection tool, copy that whole pipe. It's all selected. I go over here to the move. I'm going to use a move. I'm going to hold control down. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pull it over. And I want to make sure it stays on the red axis. So like that. And then I'm going to enter in four foot six inches. Enter. So it's copied it and moved it over four foot six inches. Now I'm going to type in X14 because I want to make 14 copies of them. Again, I'm going to hit escape to get out of that operation. There's my selection tool. I could use a roller in the middle of the mouse to zoom in and out. And those are all of the pipes there. So hopefully that made sense in creating it. And now we're just going to move the pipes around to work on selecting. This can, this can get a little irritating. I've been playing with this quite a bit. Um, and the one thing I kind of discovered is the, the best way to select these things is to get just the right orientation. So I'm going to kind of tip them up in vertical. And I want to take the six, seven, eight, these four pipes here. So this pipe, so I'm going to select my selection tool. I don't, oops, let me escape out of there. My selection tool, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to grab these four pipes here. Now that I grabbed them, I'm going to go over to the move. I'm going to grab, I'm going to change my orientation by holding down the roller mouse. I'm going to grab these pipes and stack them on top there. And then holding the roller mouse down, I can see uh, that's pretty good. Stacked, they're not quite on there, so that's good. I'm going to hit escape. Using the roller mouse down, I'm going to try and get those vertical so I could select them kind of easily. I'm going to take three more and stack those on. Here's my select tool. I'm going to grab these three. Then I go back over here to the move. Change my orientation a little bit. I'm going to grab these three now and stack these on. I'll hit escape. Get my orientation around. That looked pretty good. I will say I have done this about 10 times before I did this video to make sure I got it right. And the next thing I'm going to do, change my orientation with the roller. Mouse again. Go back to my selection tool. There's my selection tool there. Select these two pipes. Change my orientation back. Here's my move tool. I'm going to grab these two. See how it snapped on the red axis? So they don't stick out too far. So that's what I want. Escape out of that. Back to selection. Grab my last pipe. Back to move. I'm going to pull it over here. See how it snaps onto the red axis? That's what I want. So that's good. I'll hit escape out of that operation. Those all look pretty good. And I just have two more things to do. One thing I want to do is turn this. Um, so I'm going to use a rotate tool for that. So first I'm going to hit my selection. I'm going to select this end pipe. And then rotate is right here. So I hit rotate. I'm going to snap it onto the midpoint here. Then I'm going to come down and snap on my endpoint. And that will rotate it around a little ways, any angle you want. So I'll click it there, hit escape out of there, over to my selection tool, move it around, make sure my orientation is good. That all looks great. I think the only thing left is to put a paint on them. You tell a, oh, here's material key. That'll pull it up. You can paint them any color you want. Um, 
before I hit that paint, I'm going to select them all. Once they're all selected, I'll make them, I guess, this bright red. And then I have to touch the selected entity, and that makes them all red. Escape. Out. Close that up. And that is assignment two of the pipes. Back to my selection tool. And this software, like all softwares, uh, you get good at it by playing with it. So I know this is a quick video, but it, I spent a lot of time practicing it before I did the video because this is all new to me as well. So thanks for watching. This is Colfax Math. I'd uh, like to hear your comments below if you got any better ideas on and drawing SketchUp for schools. I'm actually starting to like this software quite a bit. So.